Here's how to fix the Android keyboard if it's not showing up. Now, if you're used to opening up messages and the keyboard pops up and it's not showing the correct keyboard or it's not working or showing up at all, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, the first thing that we'll do is get into messages. And let's say we tap to create a message it should pop up with a keyboard. This is just the default Samsung keyboard. I'm on a Samsung phone. There should be a default keyboard based on your phone. And you can see I can just start typing whatever I want. However, if this doesn't work for you, there are a couple things we can do. Let's hop out of here and go to your settings next. So swipe up and we'll tap on settings. Now from your settings, let's scroll down until we get to the option for, let's see where it is, general management and tap on general management. You can see if I scroll down a bit, it says Samsung keyboard settings as well as keyboard list and default. First tap on the keyboard list. And at the very top, I can tap on this and I can choose instead of a Samsung keyboard, maybe that's the keyboard that's not showing up or working correctly. I can always choose a different keyboard, in this case, Gboard. However, let's say you're using just the default keyboard and you want to make sure that works. Let's go back out of here and in this case, tap on Samsung keyboard. And now we'll scroll to the very bottom because from here, we're gonna hit the reset to default settings. Once I do this, basically I'm gonna reset everything. So tap on each individual one and hit erase and clear the cache. So basically what you've done is you've reset your entire keyboard back to how it was when you first got your phone and it should be working at that point. Check to see if it's working. If it's not working, the next thing that we will do is we'll go back out of here to the beginning. We'll scroll down and we'll find apps and tap on it. And then all we're gonna do is look for that specific keyboard. So you can either search for it or just look for it. Let's scroll down. Let's say in this case, we're using Gboard. All you have to do if you're using that keyboard is you can always hit the force stop. And now after we've done that, let's go down to storage. We'll clear the cache and clear the data. And now if we go back out of here, we can just open it up again and select input method and we will hit Gboard and done. So essentially what we're doing is we're force stopping it, we're clearing the cache, we're clearing the storage for that keyboard and then we're reinitiating that keyboard on your phone. If any of these don't help, the last thing I would recommend doing is hopping out of here and we'll go back into your settings. Let's go back to the beginning of your settings here and we'll scroll down to the bottom and tap on software update. Now on here, just tap on download and install and check to see if there is a software update for your Android phone. That's because the t default keyboard that comes pre-installed with Android will just be updated whenever you update your Android operating system. So just update that and see if that helps. See if it gets basically that keyboard to be reinstalled and then it should show up after that. Hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.